uh, relatively early, I think in my 20s, Hamlet was the first play I saw. And it was a bit like, I don't have, how I don't does have it go to Shakespeare? So I think he's very relevant today, because he's so timeless. <laughs> well, what does Shakespeare mean to me? Shakespeare means tragedy, horror, comedy, and above all, great theatre. Ten days time, it will be the 400th anniversary of William Shakespeare's remains, by any measure, the most important writer, not just in the English language, but arguably in any language ever. What Shakespeare means to me is imagination and language. I'm constantly amazed that somebody, just one person, could have created all these worlds and all these people in an age such a vivid, wonderful language to I think that Shakespeare's incredibly important to the UK publishing industry. Um, I know that from working at the fair that he is one of um, the UK's like, most successful exports of all time. Um, he's been translated to over half of languages. And, um, and I think one of the things that's really like, stuck out to me today is how important it is to education. I know that 50% of the world's school children um, study Shakespeare at some point in their school lives. And that, I think it's an incredible sort of unifying um, aspect. Shakespeare's important to me because it's a way of accessing great literature um, with really human stories um, in an interactive setting with friends and family, whether it's going to the globe, for a viver, um, having a pint, and really enjoying the laughs as they would have done in the Renaissance time. I've been thinking about Shakespeare since, since I was 14 when I first encountered him at school, and I find him to be life-giving, I find him to be an exciting poet primarily, his language excites me, um, the way he describes human emotions, the way he bodies forth crises on stage. Um, but I think, you know, it's the sonnets of Shakespeare that I would come back to um, if I'm wondering what poetry book to take with me on my next train journey. Uh, I could do a lot worse than take a copy of Shakespeare's sonnets with me. Why? Because they last a minute each. Um, they're easy to read when one's on the move and they contain such intellectual thought as well as uh, emotion, uh, that I continue to find them yielding of, of new meanings um, and experiences and feelings in myself. He's become such a global figure, hasn't he? I mean, the plays have been translated in seven different languages, they're seen all over the world. He translates so well, I think, you know. It's partly because they're such good stories. People sometimes say that it's all in the words, but it isn't. It's partly in the structure of the characters, the sense of character you get from the way that he writes uh, for the different roles that he's played. And he's so actable. This is one of the great things. He provides actors with such wonderful powers. He's refreshable in the sense that every time one sees a new production of a great performance, one is seeing in some ways a new play. The plays don't exist in themselves, they only exist in the performance. And when they perform, they perform such wonderfully enlivening and invigorating and profound experiences. Oh great, you know, Shakespeare for me is a very, very special friend because he wrote about so many things. He wrote about romance, danger, treachery, and it's all the sort of things that we pirates thrive on. So Shakespeare for me is the man, even though he was a little bit before his time, he was a man that could see 